just to test ourselves and our knowledge let us try this simple one not a simple very compact one. Suppose this is the description currently known conventional oil reserves will be depleted within 40 years if the demand for oil keeps on increasing by 2 percent per year. Can we build a stock flow diagram of this? The thing about description is it is very less for first thing very less description ok. Um, you can read it again not much to read just one sentence right. There is some oil reserves which will be depleted in 40 years if demand for oil keeps on increasing by 2 percent per year. So, there is some oil reserves and there is some demand which also keeps changing and and we know the total time that it is to be depleted that is the 40 years right. So, if you are asked ok if you want to build a kind of a model for this we need to ensure that the model actually uh, the oil will deplete in that particular uh, time. So, uh, let us uh, model it and see let me just keep a small type step just in case year the only thing I know is the description said years. So, let us just take it years let me have the description right here oil reserves will be depleted within 40 years if demand for oil keeps on increasing by 2 percent. Um, how does the stock any suggestion for a stock oil reserves is a physical quantity that can be a stock. So, let us just put oil reserves. So, then this has to drain right meaning we have to keep removing from this reserves. So, then there has to be a rate. let us call it extraction. So, I just modeled it as a just oil reserve and rate of extraction. Okay. Now, usually we would have put the rate of extraction will be affecting the demand, but now we got information that demand is also increasing at 2 percent per year. So, how do we model the quantity which keeps increasing? Suppose when you say population increases 2 percent per year, what does it mean? We have a population stock on the net flow is such a way that population is going at 2 percent per year, right. It is not a linear, it is going an exponential thing. So, perhaps we can consider that for demand. So, let us define a demand and then change this change in demand demand is changing 2 percent per year. So, this is fraction fraction per year. So, demand has to increase by 2 percent per year the way we need to model or we know how to model it is we can give the fraction per year as 2 percent 0 0.02 uh, change in demand is 2 percent of the demand I just multiply these two. Now, you got change in demand which is going to increase right. Um, and you can make a simple assumption that this demand is going to affect the rate of extraction and I can only extract until oil reserves fall down. It just says that oil will be depleted within 40 years. So, once it is depleted I cannot extract any more. So, then the rate of extraction can be minimum of oil reserves and demand. Let us just uh, model it uh, perhaps I should introduce units let us make it fraction as 1 by year change 
change in demand will be uh, what do you call what is the units for oil reserves million million barrel million barrel per year per year demand is million barrel per year initial value i don't know let's come to that so rate of extraction becomes uh, so i need a I'll assume a simple uh, uh, time constant of one year. Every year, we will take an annual demand. So let us keep a time constant of one year, just to uh, ensure my units match here. Okay. Even if you didn't do time constant, it's okay. What you did here is change in demand is demand times fraction per year, rate of extraction is minimum of oil reserve and demand that is it that is all this uh, others are only for unit this thing. So, what do you assume for oil reserve and demand? Okay, hey, what tell me some initial values. So, we started some arbitrary initial values and start now we do not have anything else. So, let us just start what do you want? Oil reserves, how much? We take up numbers which are easy for our maths, right? So, let us just say it take uh, 100. Let us just take 100, whatever 100 million barrels of oil is there, and uh, let us suppose demand is say 1. Why take complicated numbers when let us just do 1, right. So, without simulation itself, we can actually do some things with it. Imagine if demand is always 1 constant, demand is 1 constant, uh, oil reserves is 100. So, then it will take 100 years to deplete, that is not the case we want, right. But now 1 is also increasing at 2 percent per year, right. Uh, 2 percent. Uh, Per year, then uh, from one unit to uh, what will be its doubling time? 0 0.69 divided by uh, 0 0.02, 0 0.50, uh, 0.7 into 50, 35 years. Okay. So what he did was the doubling time for demand. So demand from one unit to two units it is going to take 0.7 divided by the fraction, fraction is 0 0.02. So, 0 0.7, 0 0.02 is nothing but uh, 1 by 50. So, we are uh, multiplying by 50, 50 times 0.7 is 35, right. So, about 35 years it will take for 1 to become 2, right. Because suppose it is always 2, then the entire thing oil reserve can finish in 50 years. So, on an average now we have 1 to 2 it went in 35 years right. So, on an average for the 35 years it was 1.5 uh, million barrels per year. So, 1.5 times into 35 will come to uh, 35 into uh, 1.5 35 slightly around 50, 50, 54 uh, million barrels would have been finished. Still, I have another 50 million barrels to complete, right. So, that will also take some time. So, again, what you are trying to figure out is when the oil is going to deplete, that is what you are trying to figure out. If it is always constant 1, it is going to take 100 years. If it is going to constant 2, it is going to take 50 years. If it is, if it is constant 2 million barrels a year that is the rate it goes, then 50 years it will 100 barrels will finish. If it constant was 3, then it is going to uh, take 33 years, 
which is less than our 40 years, what we want is 40. Now, now we do not have it constant, ours is increasing, ok. So, instead of figuring out how it is increasing, we are just figuring out ok, 1 to 2 it goes on an average of 35 years. So, the average during the time is 1.5 liter. So, but first 50 will finish in 35 years. The next 35 years, the average is between 2 to 4, right. The next 50 years, the average is 3. Next doubling time, next 35 years is average is 3. So, in that case, it is going to take uh, uh, much longer to, it will take 35 into uh, 3. So, it should take about another. Uh, uh, 35 plus another 17 years to finish. So, 35 plus 17 comes to more 54 years to exhaust our resources. Let me, uh, what is this? Uh, oil, okay. Let me, before we go further, let me just simulate. I have just simulated the model. Let us look at oil reserve and demand. Demand increasing, oil reserve falls down at around 54 years, like we kind of estimated now, 55 years maybe. What we wanted is it has to finish in 40 years. So, let us just go back to do that. Let me just change the initial value of the demand. Let us assume that the initial, suppose the initial value is starting at 2, let us say, then oil reserve. ends in less than 40 years, your oil reserve depletes, okay. So, that means my initial value should be between 1 and 2. So, let us try 1.5, comes still slightly more than 40 years. We want to give it exactly it around 40, perhaps I should try say 1.75. Somewhere close to 40, it is able to kind of deplete itself if you assumed 1.75 starting point. The earlier thought process I was trying to look at when doubling time, etc., is trying to figure out this 1.75 uh, as a thought process because we can we already know doubling time, we know the total reserve which is 100, so we can always do our mental math to figure out approximately what should be the starting values where we want to start from. Uh, so, this we must be able to try. The sense given with very simple descriptions, not much. We are still able to build a stock flow model saying that if oil is a depleted in 40 years, uh, we can actually build a demand stock flow and oil depletion, and then all we then we played with the starting values until we actually hit depleted. Any questions on that model? It is a small, interesting, fun model to play with. Thank you.